Hello YouTube, let's learn how to pass arguments to function. Now there is a lot of code here so I will just delete it and start with a simple example. Now task here will be to ping only one address by using arguments. In the last tutorial we have, card, we have hard coded things but here we will grab things dynamically. Okay, so function name will be like a one ping and we are pinging just one target. Okay, and after that we will have actual operation, system, and then here we need to concatenate actual operation, actual application that will do pinging with dynamic thing that we are uh, grabbing from here, that we are passing here. So we will do that with dot and let's concatenate that with actual target. Okay, so this thing will be passed to function as a string. Don't worry, we will just do that in a couple of seconds. And the reason why there is a space here, well, there must be space between a DOS or Linux command and actual parameters, okay? So in a terminal kind of language, this is just parameter, but for function that's like argument. So that's like programmer's terminology. So let me see what else we need to have here. Uh, echo, pre tag, and we need to close it down there. Well, yep. And I think that we are cool. So let me just test that and I need to get blank screen. Okay, so that's cool. So let's call this function one ping. And now here we are not holding we are defining that target dynamically, like Google, and that's it. Okay, so this is this thing will be now passed through this like a general variable to this operation. So this is like in the intermediary, like a third hand or something. Well, it's a weird term, third hand. It looks you know scary, but yeah. So we'll refresh. And I expect the results here. Yeah. So some people will say, well, big deal. Well, here's the thing. You can use one function on multiple domains, like five of them. Some people will say, well, cool, I can do that manually. Well, what if you have 100, uh, you know, addresses or 1000 that you need to check, you know, so you do you want to do that manually or you will write some kind of script, you know, so that's the whole point because you can do this, okay, so no problem. You can check many domains and probably they will not block my IP, well, at least my ISP, uh, Bing. And yeah, so all these three functions will be activated one after another. So that's like a time savior. So let me see, let me wait for results. And those things will be pretty much vertically packed here because I didn't use HR, but yeah, you get the point. It's just something that will save you a lot of time. This is small function, but still it will get the job done. So where I was, yeah, uh, let's use actual form here to pass thing to this function. So what I'm going to do is I will just use it. I will copy paste it to grab things, okay? And now we have a function, but we need to grab things from form. So here we need to define that target and let's actually do that. So label for field will be target. And I will, I always forget that T uppercase. So target and that's pretty much it. So let me check our form first. Okay, that's cool. And yeah, let me see what we need to do here. So first we need to grab that thing. So let's do that. Target equals uh, dollar underscore post. And we are grabbing that target. Target. Okay, now some people uh, are maybe confused here because we are using too many same things. So let's actually change that. Let's say get target from four or just get target and then we are we are going to pass this in a function uh, so yeah get target and then we will use that thing down there get target 
okay and now this is just you know uh, structure of function but we actually need to use it so uh, one ping one ping and uh, yep get target and now the thing will work automatically so yep let me refresh this okay and let's say uh, Google and let's expect some results I hopefully so yeah so that works let's go one level back refresh let's type yeah Yahoo let me check that so that works and one more check for let me see I don't know there is so many websites my memory is bad every day especially if it's two in the morning so yeah that works dynamically so this is the thing we are from form grabbing one field we are passing that that element to here okay and then we are using that thing down there okay so when we grab it we're gonna do something with that but this is just function definition structure of operations and then down there we are actually using that thing okay so yeah that's that's pretty much it so thank you for watching as always you can practice this uh, for example you can expand this function to get couple of IPs here or domains so basically you will use multi multi arguments but, but let, let's actually do that like um, get target and then second target okay so we need to grab it from uh, form second target equals uh, where is dollar post and we are grabbing second let's say and now that means that we need to change our form to get two things uh, second and second let me check if, if everything is fine okay so second target second target and that's pretty much it so let me check my form refresh okay and then down there we will just call that function with two arguments so get target and second target okay but we also need to change our function structure so let's just copy paste that down there oops and we will change this to second target and now the thing will work let me refresh that thing uh, Google will be first and let's say Bing will be second one so in a split of a second we will have a results here come on come on come on oh yeah so Google okay Bing okay and now you can expand expand this not to spank but extend yeah i'm bubbling i definitely need to go to sleep uh, you can expand this to many other arguments and you can do different kind of operations and so on and so on so i'm just using here ping because it's very simple you know command uh, to describe grabbing arguments so yeah you can use whatever you like and you will use this thing all the time you will use functions and grabbing things from form and calling those functions and so on and so on so yeah um, see you tomorrow i definitely need to go to sleep because my tongue is starting to you know doing things on his own anyway i'm bubbling see you tomorrow